Hey guys! Um, okay, so what month is it? April? Is the hat too much? I don't know. I, I'm totally in love with this hat. So this hat is probably my first favourite. And I'm milking wearing hats with this hair because I think it just works really well. I'm very chirpy today, as you might be able to tell. I think it's because it's so sunny and stuff. Um, and I just had a Greek salad. Right on! This is going to be a mishmash. It's not just going to be beauty, it's going to be a few other things as well. Oh god, chipped my nail. I've just painted them. Um, let's start with beauty. I've got, oh, I've got so many things to show in this video so I'm gonna try and do it as quickly as I can and um, let's start with shower stuff these two I've been loving these are the origins uh, well this is the ginger burst savory body wash and it's so silky it's not liquidy like other uh, shower gels it's more creamy and silky and it's just oh it's so soft to use and it smells amazing so if you like ginger check that out also i've been liking the incredible spreadable smoothing ginger body scrub um yeah they kind of go hand in hand and this is just great for if you need that bit of exfoliation i've gone back to this this is such an old school product you know that that loads of us used to use and our mums use and stuff and it's just the nivea Lo body lotion light moisturizing and cleaning um, non-greasy for normal skin, but I feel like I should have got the one for dry skin because my legs have been so dry. I love the scent of this because it's just really classic, clean, fresh smelling. Um, it's not invasive, it doesn't smell too much of anything. It's quite a homey scent for some reason, and it's really inexpensive. I just picked it up from Superdrug. I've been liking this for months, but I keep forgetting to um, include it in my favorites videos. It's the LMS Total Glow Bronzing Body Lotion. It's one of those gradual tanning products, so you know, the more you use it over the week, um, it will build and build on your skin. And that it gave me a really healthy looking glow to my skin. The other reason why I like it is because the smell, the smell isn't too bad at all. It's really nice, so just make sure you wash your hands after you use it though, because it could make your hands develop a little bit. A bit of skincare. It's a product that I'm sure no one has heard about before. <laughs> The Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. Um, I've seen this everywhere and um, I, yeah, I just finally took the plunge, went, bought it, and I absolutely love it. And yeah, it just is worth the hype. It smells so good. It's really, really soft on the face, very obviously clean. It just does everything that it's supposed to do. And I think it's definitely worth the money. My skin looks really bright, clean after I use it. Um, and I also love the packaging. Okay, a few more skincare bits. I've been loving the Clinique Mild Clarifying Lotion. It contains salicylic acid, which is great for breakouts and preventing breakouts if you suffer from that, which I do. Um, and in some of my previous videos not long ago, some of you noticed as well that I had some chest acne. And um, I get that sometimes. I don't know why, it just crops up, usually in summer. But also, I was using it on my chest as well to try and get rid of that horrible, like, angry chest acne. And um, as you can see, it's gone so I'm so happy the only thing I don't like though is the packaging because it has no nozzle I don't know I can't think of the word it's just a hole so I find that I use up so much product and it spills over the cotton pads and everything I use more than I need to so they need to ah! other than that amazing then I've also been loving the I didn't think I would like this but I do <laughs> it's the Kiehl's micro blur skin perfector yeah I'm funny with um, primers because I don't like to feel like I've got a thick silicone layer on my skin underneath my makeup um, but this is very seamless I think it really helps the application of my foundation I feel like it goes on a lot smoother I think it does what it says oh another body thing I forgot to show this I've been really liking this it's the Caudalie divine oil and I've had this for ages but recently I've been loving it um, especially for the smell it's a very fine mist and it's easy to rub into your skin and sink in so you don't feel too oily and it just softens my skin does everything that a body oil should do but I love the smell. It makes me feel soothed and <laughs> cordially. -y. Oh my god, I've still got so, I've still got so many things. I've also been liking the Kevin Aquan um, sculpting powder, and I've been trying this out for quite a while. It's a tiny little product, but it packs a punch. <laughs> I just love the shade of of the sculpting powder because it's not too warm it looks really natural on the skin like I've been wearing it in loads of videos recently for my contour and it just really naturally slims down the face um, and I use it with my MAC 109 brush and the next product is a new one and look at this this is the most gorgeous 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 blush ever um, so it's from the new MAC collection with Philip Tracy who is they say one of London's leading hat designers and oh the imagery for this collection is gorgeous if you go on the MAC website I'll link it down below it's not sponsored so it's this 
peachy champagne-y blush mixed in with some silver silver pigment blush as well. It's a good brightener product, I think. If you're not too much into highlighters, but you like a bit of a two-in-one, it's I think it's great at lifting the face. I've been loving this mascara. It's a MAC one, surprisingly, because so many MAC mascaras I haven't thought that much of in the past. Um, but it, oh my God, I don't know the name of it, but it looks like this. Like, I'm sure you, I'll, I'll link it down below. It looks like this. So I really like the brush. It reminds me of Max Factor's Full Slash Effect, which is one of my favorite mascara pretty much. Um, but at the end, it's rounded and it has the like spiky bristles on the end, so you can really use that to get into the inner and outer corners of your eye. I find this great for separating, great for lengthening, and I think it gives a little bit of volume as well. It's um, layerable as well, that, is that a word? You can layer it as well easily, and it doesn't make your lashes clumpy and sticky or anything. This brush, hmm. <laughs> this is from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's, I believe it's the, oh yeah, the eye smudger brush. Um, sometimes I like putting um, eyeshadow underneath my eye there and then just smudging it out and a lot of the time I do it with my finger because I haven't found a brush before that does it really well but this is perfect for that, it's so good and great quality and that's that Perfumes, I'm still obsessed with perfumes <laughs> So the, the first one is a pricey one, but it is if you have the budget or if you want to give someone a sublime birthday present and it's spring summery time. Oh my God, this is Tom Ford Fleur de Portofino. <laughs> Fleur de Portofino, here I go trying to explain it. It's fresh, light. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna put the description down below because I'm rubbish, but um, you guys probably know that I really like his Velvet Orchid, Black Orchid as well from Tom Ford. This is totally different. It's like on the other end of the scale. It's a lot fresher, more of a daytime scent. I'm gonna put it on now. Mm. Oh yeah. Then, very different on the price uh, factor. I think this was eight pounds from Zara. I'm so happy that I found this. It's just Zara White Eau de Toilette. And this is one of those clean linen, fresh, daytime scents, you know, like clean cotton, it smells like. Great, you know, really easy to wear, really easy to take around with you. Next, I've got Diptyque's Eau Rose. Um, this is so nice. This is now my equivalent to the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. Um, just fresh, floral, light. I know I'm saying this about everything, but, and, gorgeous packaging right okay that's it for beauty finally <laughs> so next I've got some style favorites um, I've been loving some pieces from HRH collection recently um, and if you don't know HRH is run by Alex and she's a youtuber as well I'll link her channel down below I love her channel I've mentioned some of her pieces on my vlog channel but I especially have been loving this it's a choker like a Oh no, I've forgotten the name. I'll link it down below. So it's just a simple silver choker, which looks so nice on. It's such a unique piece. It's like a really feminine edgy kind of piece. You guys have probably seen these in my shoe collection video. Um, but if you haven't, they're these, I don't know what they're called, but they're just these slip on sandals from ASOS. Very current, very trendy at the moment, but really easy to wear. I think silver is gonna be massive this year. Also, obviously this hat I love. I got it from ASOS, if I didn't say, I think I did. But yeah, it's so, look, it's so big. I got it in medium to large. Uh, it's amazing. I think they do it in different colors as well, so yeah. Really liking the ASOS YouTube channel. Um, I don't know how many of you know of it, but I must have stumbled across it. I just think it's really cool. They do really quick little videos. I kind of wish they were longer so you can get into them. But a lot of them are from the stylists at ASOS. Um, and I especially love the ones by Isabella. Is it Isabella or Isabel? And they have like style tips. And I just love it when they pop up in my subscription box. And I think that they should get more views, really. Okay, before I go, a few songs that I've been loving. Um, I've been <laughs> listening again and again to Rhymes. You know Buster Rhymes, Touch It, Bring It, but, but the remix, the recent one, I've been loving it. I'll link it down below. <laughs> and it's such a good workout song. Also, I've been loving Chet Faker. I used to listen to him a little while ago, and then recently I've really got more into him. I'll just read them out. I've been loving Drop the Game, Talk Is Cheap, Gold, and What About Us, as well as his No Diggity one. Um, just oh, such relaxing, chilled, cool music. <laughs> I think that's it. I feel knackered now. I feel like I've talked your ears off. Hope you liked this video and yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Oh, 
Also, it's Wednesday, right? I feel like I wanna upload now again on Wednesdays and Sundays. There's something about Thursday. I don't know why, just Wednesday feels right. So yeah, that's that. Oh my God, I need coffee. What have you guys been up to? Let me know how you are. Oh, I'm gonna go and see Avengers tonight. That should be good. So don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with my videos um, and to just join the channel. <laughs> and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm always on those. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah. She's trying to find out what is actually going on or if something is going on, if she's being lied to. It's very interesting. It, I love the way that the author builds the character. I just re- I- bleh.